So you want to start a vlog channel, but the self-doubt kicks in. You're thinking, shoot, I don't think I can do this. This is really confusing and I'm overwhelmed. When I was younger, I had the same exact feelings, but this is how I learned how to overcome my fears and build a career making content online. Hey guys, my name is Jade Dharma Wangza. I've been a content creator since I was nine years old, posting my first video. I also run a company called X8 Media, and I'm gonna teach you guys today how to exactly launch your career online. Thank you Best Buy for sponsoring today's video. When I needed my first camera, I went to none other than Best Buy. Best Buy has everything you need to start your first vlog channel. So I'm so excited to be partnering with them, and thank you again. Ah! <laughs> Can you tell I'm hyped? I didn't take this check. For no check. I took this check because I love y'all. Y'all can take my firstborn child. Okay. When you're first starting a vlog channel, you have to ask yourself why. What is the purpose of your vlog channel? I think it's really important to start with a question of like what you want to make and why. Because although it's cliche, if you don't have a why, it's gonna be really tough to go through the hardships. You know, starting a vlog channel is difficult. You know, you have to set up some gear, you have to learn things. And I think if you ask yourself, why are you doing it? It's gonna enable you to kind of go through those moments of struggle. Personally for me, I started my first vlog channel because I loved making videos and telling stories. It's like having internet besties. I like talking to y'all, I like engaging, and that's why I make content. Now you wanna ask yourself what you wanna make and how you wanna make it. So this is where gear comes into play. I think it's an amazing opportunity when you're first starting any channel to make vlogs because it's fun. You get to make it with your friends. You get to document your trips. And that's how exactly I started my brand. I made videos with my homies in school and posted it on the interwebs. Now you might be wondering, Jade, I'm kind of nervous to film in public. Well, I have a little tip for you. The first thing I would say is you want to get a nice compact camera, okay? All right, y'all. So I've actually been filming with the Canon M50 for the past year, but Canon came out with a new one called the Canon M50 Mark Two. It has the newest updates and highest quality ever. So make sure you, when you go to Best Buy, don't look for the M50. Look for the Canon M50 Mark II. This camera is super compact. It has a flip out screen. Not how important that is when you're vlogging so you can make sure you look cute. I don't really use a camera bag. I just pop this baby in my backpack and I'm able to whip it out, capture any moments when I'm vlogging with my friends or traveling. It even has a detachable body so you can add different lenses. I personally use the 11 millimeter by Canon and it's A1. I just like the wider angle. I just think it looks so easy. And if you're filming in public and you're kind of nervous, you can capture everything by holding it kind of low. So it's great if you're just kind of nervous holding it like full out in public. And I personally love this camera so much. So now let's talk about microphones. So I like the Shure VPH3 mic. The Canon M50 has a detachable attachment so you can add external audio. So you just pop this baby in. And now you have a shotgun mic, which enables you to have I love filming when I'm at the beach and there's a lot of wind and random noises. So because it's a shotgun mic, you're gonna have crispy audio facing to your mouth and your vlogs will turn out a lot better. If you guys ever think I'm a sellout, y'all, I use this camera all the time. This is literally mine. And this combination together is just chef's kiss. This can be very nerve wracking. I think the biggest thing for me when it came to getting over my fear of starting a vlog channel was speaking. I don't have an issue talking to people, but talking to a camera was horrifying. Check out this clip of me speaking to a camera for the first time. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I was extremely awkward. I had a thick Indonesian accent, so you can barely tell what I was talking about. And it just wasn't easy for me to pick up the camera. And I know a lot of people who want to start a vlog channel, but they feel intimidated by having to actually like, execute. So my biggest tip, if you're starting to film, is filming with friends. I think this is the biggest thing that will get you more comfortable. Because if you're vlogging, with your home squad, in the car, eating some food. It's gonna feel a lot more natural and you can start to treat the camera as a friend. And I didn't realize this till later, but if you start to film with some people around you or just people that you're comfortable with or an environment that makes you feel yourself, it will translate better on camera and your audience can also see that. I think another note is say you're still struggling to be loud and vibrant on camera, embrace it. I think one of the most important things as a content creator is to find your unique voice. For a while, I thought my voice was super annoying because I couldn't speak properly and I spoke really fast, but over time I was like, you know what, let me embrace it. I think that you are unique in your own way. And as cliche as it sounds, it's there for a reason. I find that people who maybe speak quietly on camera and is maybe not the regular content creator look, have a stronger audience because they're representing people who are maybe more introverted. So if you're someone who's more soft-spoken, embrace it, it's totally fine. One of my tips is to film with friends, but if you can't like break out of that comfortable shell, that's totally fine. Don't let your own self stop you from going after what you want. 
So once you have the camera, let's talk about lighting. And when I do a sit down video like this, I wanna make sure I have good lighting. And for that, I use the Sunpack ring light. Whether you're filming a whole sit down video or trying to make your vlog make more sense, I love this ring light because it's super compact, super affordable, okay? And you can adjust the lighting and temperature. Let me show you what my video looks like without it. Bruh, you would click off this video. This is not it. <laughs> when I was first starting my vlog channel, I remembered I was filming in my parents' basement and the lighting was so yellow and I look really like weird, but because the sun pack ring light is temperature control, you guys can actually make yourself look a little more cooler tone. So your white balance is a bit more leveled. Also this doubles as a tripod. So if you're broke, it's two in one. All right. So now that you have your why, you have the gear, you filmed a whole vlog, let's get ready to edit. I love editing, okay? I know some people get intimidated by the whole technological advancements, but I personally use Adobe Premiere Pro for years. It's the best software. I'm not gonna judge you if you use any other software, but Adobe is where it's at. Adobe is a professional grade editing tool, but anybody can start using it. You can upload your footage to the timeline, chop it up, add effects, overlays, sound effects, and this bad boy is all you need for editing. I don't use any other software but Adobe Premiere Pro. Going back to, you know, if you want to start a vlog channel, I think the hardest thing is again, going through the self-doubt. You're gonna look at your timeline. You're gonna look at your vlog and be like, this video doesn't make sense. It sucks. I hate it. And you're gonna rage quit. I've done this before and I realized I couldn't let my self-doubt and my perfectionism stop me, okay? My biggest tip, if you ever upload your stuff and you get kind of overwhelmed, you're like, shoot, I don't like this. Give it a day. Close, close the laptop, save, hit save, give it a day. And I always do this with all my content. And I find when I add space, right? When I give myself the time to like reflect and marinate, I get more ideas and I'm able to solve the editing issue at hand. I literally made a video last week and the whole vlog didn't make sense. Like I was in Europe traveling and I was running around town interviewing people and it just didn't make sense. It just, I couldn't upload it. It was so incongruent and it had no story, but I slept on it for a little bit and me and my team, Amanda, we recorded a little bit of some voiceovers and me sitting down and added it in between the scenes. And now we have a full story and it makes so much more sense. But if I didn't give myself the time to marinate and like think about it, I wouldn't be able to upload the video. So now that video is uploaded and I'm so proud of it. And I think it just shows you the importance of just like letting go and like giving it some time, but also uploading. Like sometimes it's so important to not be a perfectionist and let it be. And I think people need to optimize for publishing, not perfection. Because if you optimize for perfection, it's never gonna be done. So I really think if you're starting a vlog channel to, you know, give yourself compassion, be patient. And once it's ready and you feel like you tried your best, upload it. My recommendation, if you're having an issue, right? Edit, break, edit, and then upload, okay? Don't do more than two to three iterations. You have to hit the publish button in order to get your channel off the ground. Dude, I know it's scary, okay? The interwebs is a dark place sometimes, but you are not alone. You have a community online, Darmination, that's here for you. Best Buy has the best gear ever. But I also have to say that like the last thing is like with everything in life, it takes practice. It's so cliche, I know. But for example, let's take me and surfing. I was terrified of the water. I used, I drowned in the lake when I was like 17. So I hate the water. But last year I decided to surf. Didn't know how to swim, didn't know anything. I remembered how frightening that was. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die, but I was committed to learn how to surf because I wanted to face my fear. Every day, every morning, 6 a.m., I would go out into the ocean, paddle out there, get pounded, okay? Get messed up, wiped out. But every day I would keep showing up. And over time, I was able to pop up for the first time and ride my first wave. I'm telling you, it's the same thing with starting a vlog channel. You're going to set up your camera, edit the video, and be like, this is awful. But then you wake up the next day, sit back down on your computer, you do it again, and you figure it out, okay? It will take time before you feel comfortable on camera, speak, naturally, vlog, all that fun stuff, and upload, and that's totally normal. And I encourage you to take that first leap of faith. It's scary, but you got this, and it's so rewarding. Like, I love surfing now, it's like literally my whole life and brand, and I wouldn't be able to do that if I didn't take that first leap of faith. I guess the point of this video is to just start. You don't need to be an experienced filmmaker or go to art school to start a vlog channel. I'm glad I picked up my first vlog camera, hit record, edited, and published because it changed my life forever. I was able to make videos full time, work with brands I love, and travel the world with friends that are also creative. So I recommend everyone to do the same and just have fun and take it easy. Thank you Best Buy again for sponsoring today's video. You guys, Best Buy has supplied my career Literally, I've been using them for so long, since I was 10. Go to Best Buy today to pick up your Canon M50, the Sure Mic, or the Sunpack, and get started with your first vlog channel today. I love you, Darmination. See you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>